Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're continuing working on our 2010 Club Car President. Because eventually this car will have a rear seat on it, we want to take the tired old regular springs off and put these new four leaf heavy duty leaf springs on. So I've got them here, I've got my bushes and sleeves. Might as well just go ahead and put this part together first. Put the sleeve inside the bushing. Slide it in one side and slide the bushing in the other. We'll go ahead and do all of them this way before we ever get started, just to make it a little bit easier later on. Okay, using a three quarter inch socket, I've already broke the lug nuts loose on my rear tire. Now go from the side here so I can get a good bite of the frame. I'm going to lift this side of the car up just enough to get this back tire off. Okay, I've got a jack stand underneath this side of the frame so that it'll support the frame. Now on the back, I'm gonna come up with a jack and put it just underneath the axle housing so I can support the axle when I take the springs out. Now that I've got the axle housing securely supported, I'm gonna use my 5-8 socket and remove the U-bolt. Now I'm gonna use my 9-16 socket and remove the shock, which is no longer needed once you put the heavy duty springs on. Now I can go through the inspection panel and take the top nut off and totally remove this shock. Now using a 10 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter wrench, we'll take the rear bolt out that holds the rear portion of the spring on. Now let's go do the front side the same way. Out with the old, go in with the new. Okay, now when you're putting the new spring in, remember, you got your middle portion, middle nut that goes here, which actually mounts here to the axle housing. From here to the end, the longer portion goes in the front, and from here, here, the short portion goes in the back. Now this, we're going to go ahead and lightly mount it, which means we're going to put it up there and put the bolts in. We're not going to tighten everything up till we're completely done. Now we put our tire and wheel on this side and go change the spring on the other side. We'll do exactly the same thing in the exact same order. Well, I hope today's episode will show you how to change out an OEM leaf spring or a heavy duty leaf spring was helpful. A couple of things to remember. When you change out your leaf springs, make sure you always put the longer portion towards the front of the car. And secondly, you can remove your cushions or your shocks. They're no longer needed with going with heavy duty. You don't need that extra cushion because you have heavy duty springs. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.